Miak play, but he's got his team rolling right now. Yeah, he does. And, you know, many teams, we've talked to other coaches in the conference and around the country who have had a lot to overcome. None greater, really, than Howard with their challenges last season. But they put things together. They're extremely dead. Stepping into a three and knocking it down. People were careful with it because of social distancing. And, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I kind of am with you a little bit. Maybe we need to get rid of it. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I back to him with the deep three. He's taking these shots. Foster's trying to get himself into the game. And I think his team is having to pay a little bit of a price for that. Let's get Hawkins answers with a three of his own. And that'll cut it to a seven-point game. So Hawkins cuts into the deficit. Well, any comeback, Derek, will involve Hawkins simply not only because he's a point guard, but they rely on his energy and execution. Doesn't matter. Nine percent. Ah, what the heck? It's not a big deal, Derek. Just get him up. They're shooting 29 percent as a ball club. <laughs> it's no pressure to make them. Just get them up. FGAs, three-point FGAs. I said it a little tongue-in-cheek, but multiple guys have taken a ton of threes. Obviously, Cardasi Cal has shot. He's missed a ton of games. Coming into the tonight, Tark has shot a hundred. I mean, it's rare to find a guy, particularly. A Well, when you're executing and you need a bus bucket desperately, not only do you want to get the shot you want, you want the person you want to take the shot, and that's what Howard did there, getting the shot from Foster. Defensive back, Hawkins is. Y you almost have to go away from him. I would, I would not have my offensive player have to deal with Hawkins. Derek, I, I, I hate to say it because I don't want to sound... Like, I think I'm a profit from shot. He got to take all the th the the free throws. I think that contributed to him getting it going here in this second half. The flow, and he hits it again. Kyle Foster, three more. It's, you've got to deny him now from catching the ball. That's the best defense, because if he catches it, I mean, he's he's hot. He's, he's not going to miss at this point. Or you have to at least assume that. A, a major portion of this game down the stretch, potentially one left each way. Hood will bring it down the floor. He's having a career night. 20 points for Hood. He'll step in. Throws it up and in. Mike Hood. Wow. Back down the floor in the block by Steers. I mean, you talk about a collaborative effort. How about that? First Hood gets the big basket and then Steers go tonight and Steers in the job that he's done. No doubt about it as Hood shores what his performance means to this team tonight. Yeah, and, I mean, we talked about it. The top of the show or top of the free throw. It's a one possession game now. That's you a big miss. Put Coppin State on the free throw line. It is a big miss. To the free throw line to add to his big night. No Zarzuela tonight. No Corbett tonight. No problem. At least for right now. For Coppin State. By the way, James for Coppin State has found out. Hood sec. No timeouts oh, left oh. for Howard. In the hood. Oh, he almost lost it. State heading to the line after settle fouls out. Hood again. The porch of March in terms of madness. And we're already starting to see that. Left to go. Coppin State. Not out of the way. 81% on the line this season. He's been pretty much on that mark tonight. I'm fouling Howard because I don't want to give him a chance to tie the game and send him over.